Hello and welcome to this third video providing advice on best practice for use of portable XRF in geochemical applications. I'm Marcus Lake. And I'm Todd Houlihan. In this video, we'll be providing you information on orientation survey, assessing your instrument's factory calibration against your samples. Todd, why do we need to assess the instrument's factory calibration? Well, this is one of the hardest things to explain to a customer why the instrument doesn't always get exactly the right answer out of the box. There's a comprehensive X-ray physics related answer that's based around X-ray absorption, X-ray enhancement and the matrix effects related to XRF spectroscopy. You can read about it at great length online. The simple answer is the quality of the XRF result is reliant upon the sample itself. It depends on sample preparation, particle size and most importantly that sample's own unique chemistry. Every geological sample is different and affects the results of the XRF analysis. So we try and calibrate that in, in the factory in Boston. We use a range of certified reference materials covering multiple matrices and we teach the analyzer to read all those samples correctly to create a generic calibration that should be uh, suitable for most geological environments. But the reality is we can't replicate every possible geological scenario. So what does that mean for, the, for a user? It means we may not get the right answer for every element every time. But we can do a calibration on board the analyzer, isn't that correct? That's right. We can calibrate the analyzer and we'll talk about that in great detail in the next video. Uh, but this video is all about informing the customer how to assess whether the instrument factory calibration needs to be adjusted or whether they can live with the performance of the factory calibration. So it's not just point and shoot type? It can be, but this whole video series is around the concept of orientation work at the beginning to maximise the value this technology can bring to your project. And what would you recommend a user does? I, t I recommend they simply test a range of known samples, preferably samples from their project, and compare the results of the XRF with the lab. So what happens if a customer doesn't have any assay samples from a laboratory? Then use the, start using the instrument's factory calibration and gradually send off some of those samples that you've tested with the instrument's factory calibration to the laboratory and start a comparison. Uh, SRK did a fantastic project a couple of years ago that we presented at the PDAC workshop we did where they were doing greenfield iron ore exploration early early stage no samples from site so they bought one of the Aureas iron ore, uh, ore research iron ore portable XRF kits tuned the analyzer to the lab assays and had great confidence when they arrived into the field that the instrument was working well on some known certified reference materials. Okay, so let's demonstrate. Yeah, let's do that. This is one of the Aureas CRM kits I mentioned. We tested the samples using the Vanta Analyzer's factory calibration and plotted it up against the certified values. So how does the data look? I'll show you. Here is copper. The copper looks great, hey? It's um, very, uh, very, got very good correlation and the two, there actually is two lines there, Marcus, would you believe? I can't see the blue one and the orange one, yeah. but I'm sure it's there. Let's look at iron. Iron looks pretty good too. It's uh, reporting a bit low at higher concentrations, it yeah. sounds there, Todd. Yeah, yeah. There's the certified values versus the XRF factory calibration. But the trending still looks good. Silica. So look, it's fabulous. Wow, out of the box. Pretty impressive. Uh, aluminium. Wow, look at that aluminium. Again, the trending looks great. Reporting a little bit lower. Yeah, a little bit lower. concentrations. Ultimately, is it up to the user to decide whether they're happy with the instrument's factory calibration against known CRMs or lab values? For sure. I mean, it's all, it's all about fit for purpose. It goes back to the previous video where we tried to talk about setting goals and objectives. Only the user 
can decide whether the factory calibration is good enough and achieves the objectives that they set out for it. If the factory calibration is okay, use the factory calibration. But they can still fine tune the factory calibration on board their analyzer. They can, and especially when you get great correlation and linearity like we saw in this example, uh, they can adjust the factory calibration either on board the Vanta or in a spreadsheet offline. If you can't wait until our next video, Jen Cabin has completed a short tutorial online creating user factors. It's available on our Olympus website or our YouTube channel. Todd, we'll be seeing you again. I hope so, mate. But where's Aaron? I hope so too, mate. Is Aaron in Kalgoorlie? Karatha, I thought. Kununurra? Maybe Karumba.